Next week marks four months since a deadly tornado tore through Nashville and Middle Tennessee. And while some people are well on their way to recovery, for many, the process was put on hold due to COVID-19. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how volunteers are returning to the hardest hit areas to help. After every devastating storm, there's a certain order to things. We'll be finding out, first of all, how they are. In the days immediately after, you hear the rumble of chainsaws. Then Here. come footsteps. Nobody was there. Volunteers going door to door, making sure their neighbors are seeking the help they need. It looks like your home is in pretty good condition. Can I leave a card with you in case you need anything related to the tornado? But this was no ordinary storm because order fell victim to a health crisis. So COVID really threw the plans off. Normally hands on Nashville is able to do this kind of canvassing work just weeks after the storm hits, but because of the pandemic, they've been delayed for months. Yet in some places, it looks like the tornado hit yesterday. And clearly there's nobody that is able to live in it, um, but we'll leave a card um, in case they're coming by. Metro Councilwoman Erin Evans was part of a canvassing group that checked in on this decimated neighborhood in Donaldson near DCA. Since these folks are not here, leave them a card. Her goal to give out these cards. We just want to make sure that they can get the information that they need. Each one has a phone number that is a virtual lifeline. Can I give you this card? I'm going to leave one at the mailbox to give to the owner. All in the effort of rebuilding lives. But Erin quickly discovered those who need her help most can no longer stay in their houses. Stick it on the side here. So she placed cards in every nook, door, and hand she could find. But if you hear of any neighbors that need help, would you mind sharing that number with them? She hopes eventually word will spread. It's hard. We've got a lot of work to do to connect with everybody to make sure they know that there's resources available. Because the recovery efforts may be out of order, but it's not too late to step up. This is the number to call, and so I'll put it at your door, here in the door. With photojournalist Brian Hallett. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Have a good day. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And here is the number to call if you or someone you know needs help with the tornado recovery, 615-270-9255.